Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be dining at Morimoto Asia and trying the famous Morimoto Peking Duck. I am so excited to do this. I've been wanting to do it for such a long time and I figure tonight is the night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is January 21st, 2022, and it is such a beautiful day out right now. Like, it is the perfect temperature, not a lot of wind, and just still beautiful blue skies. And I just love living in Florida. This is gonna be my first time actually dining inside Morimoto Asia. I've actually had appetizers before or street food. They have like a little street food cart like on the outside, but I've never actually sat down and had a meal. And also, I believe this is my first time trying duck. So this is gonna be a really awesome experience. The reason I've always wanted to come out to Morimoto Asia to have the duck is because I remember walking by the restaurant so many times and just looking in and seeing the ducks hanging here and I used to be like wow you know one day I'm gonna actually go there and eat the duck and like I said today seemed to be the day. If you didn't know, Morimoto Asia is named after Chef Morimoto, who is famous for being on Iron Chef, and this is his restaurant, and it's kind of a big deal down here at Disney Springs. A lot of people love to come here, and it's hard to get reservations, because I think it's only open 4.30 till 10 o'clock at night, so it's not like open for lunch or anything like that, and this is the first time that I was able to stumble upon a reservation, so I grabbed it, and I was like, all right, this is it. The restaurant Morimoto Asia is actually located in this big building that says Springs Bottling Company on top. And that's because this is a part of Disney Springs lore, like the backstory to Disney Springs. And this was a bottling company or bottling plant where they actually used to bottle up the Springs water here. And uh, now it's a restaurant. Now it's all fictional, but it's a really cool Disney Springs Easter egg that I always like to point out. And I'm gonna show you some more references once we get in there. Another really cool fact is the restaurant is located right next to the line to get into Gideon's. In fact, the Gideon's is the back half of Morimoto Asia. And Gideon's used to be, I think it was an Oakley store, like a sunglass store. And since we're right here, I think maybe once we get done eating, we'll hop out and actually grab a coffee and maybe a cookie to go. Right now, it doesn't look like Gideon's is doing a virtual queue. It looks like they're actually just doing a standby line. And right now, they have the chocolate chip banana bread cookie, which is my all-time favorite cookie. So we might get one afterwards if we don't get a dessert. But now we're going to check to see if it's time for our reservation or not. The restaurant doesn't open up for another 20 minutes, and there's already a line waiting to get in. Like, they have a lunch sometimes they serve, but I think they close down at 3 o'clock. And dinner's from 4.30 till 9 o'clock. And look at that, look, there's a line of people here. This is a hot restaurant. It's not even like the grand opening. I mean, it's not a Gideon's line, but still pretty amazing. Here is a look at the menu they have outside, and there is such a big variety here. They have sushi, they have small plates, dim sum, noodles and rice, and what I'm interested in though is I wanna try the duck. So they have the Morimoto Peking Duck for two, and it's a carved house roasted whole duck served with steamed flour pancakes, apricot sweet chili, and a choice of white or brown rice for $72. And half duck orders are not available, so you cannot just get one, you actually have to order the whole duck. Uh, you can also get the duck ramen if you wanted to try it. You can get Peking duck broth with some duck meat in there. But I'm, I'm going to go all out for my first time trying duck and I feel like this is the way. They also have Japanese A5 Wagyu beef and it's $34 per ounce. Wow. Oh, and it's a three ounce minimum. So that means it's $102. Wow, that is crazy. I'd love to try that one day. But today it's all about the duck. I think it's time for our reservation. So we're going to head on in now. This restaurant is so beautiful and it's actually two floors and we're going to go upstairs because they have an outdoor seating area and that's kind of where I want to actually go and look at the cherry blossoms in here too. Like it is so beautiful. Wait till I show you everything up here. If you guys recall earlier I was telling you about the Disney Springs bottling company and now I'm going to show you what I was talking about because it is so awesome. On the second floor above the bar there you can see it's like a bottling like factory here in the assembly line and these are all bottles that say Disney Springs. I actually own one of those bottles. They used to sell them here and I just think it's so amazing. You see it actually goes all the way down here and uh, this is actually like a chandelier that they have when it turns on at night. So that's really nifty, isn't it? 
they have this beautiful outside seating area and I definitely opted in once I knew it was available because look at this view it is so amazing you get to see all of Disney Springs from up here and I just love it also I like these lights right here now I'm at my table and I love it up here. This is such a great place to actually come and sit down and enjoy a meal. The views, the atmosphere, it is astounding. They have a very large selection of different Japanese beers, but I wanted to get Morimoto's Soba Ale right here. So this is his own beer and I felt like it was appropriate. So we're gonna try it. This is a 4.5 ABV and has a 30 IBU. So it's gonna be a little bit hoppy and we're gonna give it a go here. Oh wow, that's good. This is very good. Before I was showing you a little bit of the menu outside and there were multiple Morimoto Asias around so there actually might be one near you. I hear tell that they just opened one in Boston but each location is a little bit different and it's this, this is the only restaurant that serves this kind of style here, here at Disney Springs and they do have a nice selection of fresh fish, like special fish and wow, like they have tons. Wild Japanese salmon, bluefin tuna, like yellowtail there is tons they have here and they also have specials and desserts so it's a very impressive menu so many different offerings but like I said today it's about experiencing the Peking duck I'm not too sure if I'll be coming back to dine here again so like I said I kind of want to go all out and I think I might actually get myself a small plate to start off with I know the Peking duck is gonna be a big big dish uh, but that's the only way that I can actually order it and plus we can take whatever we don't eat home mainly I just want to sample things and actually have an experience and to me I think it's worth it you know what I mean for me to come out and be able to make a video uh, and be able to actually have a unique experience is totally worth it for me to spend the money but this is actually a really good offering for people that come like as a party of two because it does serve up to two people and it's $72 so that's actually not too badly priced like I said I wanted to maybe try a small plate and they have a crispy popcorn shrimp tempura and it comes with a spicy aioli sauce so I decided to get that and wow look at this here it is they give you a lot a lot of shrimp in there like <laughs> that is a boatload and uh, we're definitely gonna be taking home some boxes I didn't know that they actually tossed the shrimp in the aioli so I'm gonna try it and give it a go I hope it's not too spicy but it looks really good it's nice light and airy and uh, here we go this shrimp is amazing wow I am thoroughly impressed with this shrimp and if that's any indication of what the Peking Duck's gonna be like then I am pumped and I do like the aioli it's not that spicy at all it's actually very flavorful this is this was really a good appetizer I would most definitely get this shrimp again like it is so good like I actually really really love it too so oh also I found some chopsticks so now we can uh, eat the chopsticks without getting the uh, spicy aioli all over our fingers <laughs> I keep on peeking over because I cannot get over this amazing view here. We've got the uh, Chef uh, Art Smith's homecoming right there. You can see all of the Disney Springs. You've seen the planet Hollywood over there. And you can just watch people actually enjoying their day. It's a good spot for people watching too. I also just Googled uh, if dogs can eat duck and it's very good for dogs. It's a nice soft protein for them to digest and it's rich in iron, so I might give uh, Gracie some of my duck. A little Peking duck for Gracie Goo. Seriously, the vibe of just sitting out here is so relaxing and amazing, especially going with the good soba ale here. I mean, this is, this is nice. I really, really am enjoying myself right now. <laughs> I wanted to hop inside and show you guys their open kitchen where you can actually see the chefs preparing all of the food here and look at the ducks right there like this is really really awesome I love how everything looks inside this restaurant it is so clean and just so like pretty I really do love it 
Of course, going into this, I was a little curious of what duck would actually taste like. So I Googled it, and a lot of people go in thinking it's gonna taste like chicken, but uh, they said it's more like steak. It tastes more like steak. That's what Google says. And uh, I'm excited to try it, and I hear it, the most important thing is how it's prepared. So them being known for duck, I figure this is a great spot to actually try it. Uh, but let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Do you guys like duck? I mean, I'm about to find out, and I'll make sure to let you guys know what I think. And here it is, the main event. Look at it, isn't it so pretty? I am so excited to try this. And Chef Morimoto is known for his plate presentation. So this is actually really, really awesome. I like how they have the bundle of onions over here with the actual duck skin. And uh, they also give you the uh, pancakes right here. Nice little uh, thing. And then you get a side of rice. Uh, I went with white rice. Uh, I'm excited to try it though. I don't know where I should begin. I, I guess I should just try it on its own and then uh, try it with some sauce and then some other things. So we're gonna dive right in and just grab one little piece. Right here. First time trying duck. I'm ready, I'm ready. Mm. That's amazing. That is amazing. I don't know why Google said to think like steak. I think turkey. Like that's what I think as soon as I bite into it. I think turkey. And this is this is really good. I really like it. I like duck. <laughs> Honestly, this is really, really good. Like, <laughs> this is so amazing. And for it being like a whole duck, they really don't give you a lot. I guess they really trim out all the unnecessaries, but uh, you have the two legs and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about twelve little pieces there. But it's not that big, really. I don't think there's anything underneath. Oh, yep, there's some more underneath there. So I guess there is quite a bit. There is quite a bit there. So it's definitely enough to share uh, if you get two people. And we're definitely gonna be taking some home and I can't wait to give Gracie some. I think she's gonna like it a lot. I know I like it. I like it a real lot. Now I think we're gonna dive into one of the legs here and I'm just gonna bite into it. It looks so, so good though. Wow. It is definitely very greasy though, and there's a lot of fat to it. I guess duck is actually naturally fat, and I like the skin. Like, I like how they actually have the skinned off areas right here, so you can try the skin. That is so good, but wow. Like I said, I am, I am thoroughly impressed with this. <laughs> now we're gonna make ourselves a little wrap here. Grab some of this rice. I'm gonna put it right in here. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab some of this rice. Then we're gonna grab some some of the duck put that right in there and then also a little bit of the sauce here this is the apricot sauce right here add a little bit of that right to it and then roll it up this is a home run for me here guys <laughs> This apricot sweet chili is a big game changer. This is so amazing. Wow, I haven't tried this sauce yet though, but maybe I will try it. But I really love the apricot uh, sweet chili. Look at that shot right there with Disney Springs behind me as I'm snacking on a duck. It's pretty amazing. Now we're gonna build a fancy little wrap here. I'm gonna get the, the rice in there, get that nice and good there, right? And then we're gonna add some more of the duck right here. A nice piece there. And then a nice piece right here. There we go. Add a little bit of, it looks like green onion and cucumber right there. And now we're gonna try some of the sauce. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Gotta spread it out though, cause you don't want it all in one, you know? We tried the uh, apricot sauce, that was amazing. Now we're gonna add a little of this sauce on there. Perfect, that's the way. And then I'm gonna just roll it all up like that. That's the way. I cannot wait to see what Gracie thinks of the duck. I mean, I love it. This is gonna be a meal that I'm gonna talk about that I'm gonna wanna come back and get. 
Like, I like it that much. It's one of my favorite meals, I think, now. It is so good. So, so amazing. But here, here's my little wrap. <laughs> but I think I'm calling it quits. The rest is coming home with me. I'm gonna put this all in there. I got so much left over. Like, this is enough that I can give some for Gracie and then still have some to eat tomorrow. <laughs> Look at that. It's seriously like a whole nother meal. <laughs> and I, I can't wait. I'm gonna show you guys as Gracie eats it. I'll give you her reaction too. She's had duck treats before, but she's never had like a fresh duck. Well, that was so delicious and so amazing. Such an awesome dining experience here at Morimoto Asia. And the fun fact is, it was cheaper than my California Grill meal. Like, isn't that kind of crazy? I thought it was gonna be super expensive, but it was just about $100, and you get your annual pass discount. And uh, I think at California Grill, I think it's $89 a person. So like, that is a really good deal for two people. You can come and dine and have a meal and basically split it down the middle, it'd be about $50. And it's, and it's very good food, very high quality food. And I loved it. But now, I think we're gonna explore around Disney Springs. I wanna head over to the world of Disney. I wanna see if they either have my Baymax spirit jersey that I've been looking for, or if they have the new vault collection spirit jersey that I desperately wanna get. So if they have both, then there's gonna be a decision to have to be made. I do have to say, the duck is like super, super greasy. Just from eating that one uh, leg there, like it's on my hands and I've sanitized and washed my hands and it's still there. And look at the, the uh, box itself. It's covered in grease. Like I didn't know, but it was still delicious. It was still a really awesome, delicious dining experience. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed my awesome Mandalorian Roosevelt shirt. I love this one, uh, and I love Bubba Fett, but this one has a bantha on it, so that kind of got me thinking of Bubba Fett, and I can't wait to watch the newest episodes when they come out. I also do have some Bubba Fett shirts, but I think I'm gonna save those to wear at Star Wars, like at Hollywood Studios, but this one is really, really awesome too, isn't it? I really love the color scheming in it. It's a Friday night at Disney Springs and it's not that busy here. You think, you know, the weekends it'd be really be bopping, but not too bad at all. They don't even have anything going on on the main stage there. Of course, I don't even know if it's 6 o'clock yet. Oh, it's 6.12, so the night's just starting. The night is young. As much as I love that Baymax Spirit Jersey, if they have the uh, Vault Collection Spirit Jersey, I'm gonna get that because I really, really do love it. So we're gonna hop over to the Vault Store and come back to World of Disney. But I was thinking about stopping the baseline, well not baseline, basin, to actually wash my hands to get rid of some of this duck grease. My favorite place to wash my hands in all of Walt Disney World. And this is definitely gonna get rid of the duck grease on my fingers. This is some good soap. Here we go, I think we're gonna get ourselves some of this stuff back here. I don't even know what flavor this is. What flavor? Let me taste it and find out. Oh yeah, I can tell it's already working. That's the way. Now they smell like pink sand, and I love it. So, so good. Best soap ever. We're gonna actually cut through this store right here because I forgot that Disney Springs got away with the entrance and exit onlys, so you could basically just walk in and cut through anywhere you want. Before, you used to actually have to come in a certain way and leave a certain way, but now it's kind of just the way it used to be. You just kind of walk through. And I had no idea they made special uh, 50th anniversary plates. These are so like amazing looking, aren't they? Oh wow, that's $3,500 for that plate. $3,500, but it's so magical. It's definitely the world's most magical plate. You can get a small one if you want for $400. I don't even know what you would use that for. I guess it's like a baby plate. Oh yeah, it would go with the baby spoons right here. But <laughs> that's still pretty expensive. $400 to $3,500. All right, here is the vault store. I'm hoping they got that spirit jersey. It was so cool. Like, it was amazing. When I saw it, I immediately thought I need to get it. But it looks like we might be access denied here. Looks like it's not here yet. And this is the actual, like, uh, design of it right here. They use this 1970s design. And here's a picture of it. Doesn't that look so amazing? I want to get it so bad. So I'll be on the lookout for it. And uh, now we're gonna go look for the Baymax one. But this one, yep, I need it. So now I guess on to the world of Disney to see if they have some of the things I'm looking for. 
stitches out here spraying people and they don't even know what's happening. We're gonna try to get in there without getting hit. Nice. We've cleared, we've cleared the stitch trap. So they totally do have my Baymax Spirit jersey I was looking for, right there it is. But what is this right here? Is this a Maui Spirit jersey? Like, oh my Lord, what is Disney doing to me here? They know how to get me, like hook, line, and sinker. Hook, ha, huh? get it? <laughs> so now I don't know what to do. I mean, this is so amazing. Now these are spirit jerseys, but they're just with hoods on them. But I love Maui, but I love Baymax too. So I don't know, I, honestly, oh boy, this is gonna be really tough. And plus I still wanna get the uh, uh, vault collection one. So, oh boy. They also have this other awesome spirit jersey that is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away for Star Wars. This one is really awesome too. I don't think I've ever seen this before. So this might be brand new too. They're just really turning and turning on the spirit jerseys. They know they're popular, especially now because there's like that cold front that we got for about a week and a half. I think I'm gonna actually wait and see if I can get the vault spirit jersey. I mean, I would have gotten them both, but I don't need two more spirit jersey. I just got the waffle one and I like the vault one so much more. And this one, I'm not like, I love Baymax. That's the thing. See, like I am a big, big hero six fan. And the only thing I don't like about it is it's not like a regular spirit jersey, like collar here. It actually dips down. It's kind of like a V neck, but yeah. I mean, if this was a regular spirit jersey, I think I'd go for it and just like, you know, cross my fingers that I would end up finding the, uh, vault one but yeah i think i'm just gonna hold off that's a that's a smart thing to do it also looks like they switched out the holiday decor section here so this is where they were actually having all the holiday merchandise now it's classic mickey here and that's really cool oh and mini i see mini there too so there's a lot of different mickey and mini things here just the original mouse the original mickey kind of stuff oh like this jacket but you see this kind of everywhere but it's nice that he has his own like little section off over here and i'm sure they'll actually change it out once another holiday approaches do you remember me telling you earlier like they used to have separate entrances and exits and that's how it was here at the world of disney and now all the doors are open like they're just propped open so you can just come in whatever way you want to things are quickly getting back to normal here though because this wasn't like this like a week ago so isn't that so strange Wow, it blows my mind actually. Like I forgot like how convenient that was. And holy moly, it got busy down here at the Springs. Look at that. I'm sorry to put you guys through this like emotional whirlwind of spirit jerseys. It's a very serious business for me, you know? Will I get the Baymax spirit jersey or will he wait and get the vault collectible spirit jersey? I guess we'll have to tune in next week to find out. As the spirit jersey moves on. And oh my lord, it looks like there's only like a 10 minute wait for Gideon's. Honestly, if there is almost nobody waiting in line for Gideon's, then you go. And I can definitely go for a coffee. I love the coffee here. I get it almost every single time. So we're gonna get ourselves maybe a banana bread or peanut butter. I don't know, I don't know. Wow, look at this, there's nobody in here. This is so crazy. I've never seen Gideon's like this before. <laughs> I wasn't going to get a cookie or a coffee or anything, but I mean, might as well. If you don't have to wait there or anything like that, you go for it. I mean, that should be just a, a staple. And they even have tons of the dark coffee cakes still available. They actually sell out pretty quickly. Most of all the cake slices are gone though. They only have uh, peanut butter banana and golden Oreo. Oh, they had the chocolate everything cake, but there's only one left of that. I opted for the cookies and cream coffee this time. I don't recall if I had this before. Before, I remember I had like the peanut butter and I had the banana. Of course, I had the peanut butter banana. Uh, and then I had the uh, winter one, but I can't remember cookies and cream. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it. Oh, that's good, yeah. Mm. My favorite though still has to be probably the peanut butter banana combination. But this is really, really good too. We're coming up on Disney style and I'm peeking in there to see if the vault spirit jersey's in there. 
I don't think it would be. I feel like something like that, they only sell it at the vault, like collectible store. And I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it, so looks like we might be in the clear. But look at that Chippendale zipper up right there. That's really nifty. All right, I think we're gonna head home and we're gonna give Gracie some of the duck. I think she's gonna love it. And uh, yeah, finish up my coffee and make our way to the orange garage. To the orange, I always park in orange garage. Do you guys park in orange or lime? Like, you know what I mean? I feel like it's always orange. It's, it's always orange. Even if I have to go to somewhere at World of Disney, I always park in orange. Beautiful girl. Where are you? Oh, you smell that duck? You smell that duck? You know you're getting some of that duck, do you? You know, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Who's my little girl? Oh. What? This right here, you smell it? Oh, where's that face? Show me that smile. Show me that smile. Show it to me. Oh, 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 oh. What? Go sit. You want some? Go sit. Yeah, sit. Give me paw. 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 Good girl. Paw. Yes, good girl. And here we go. Some duck for you. Do you like it? I think she likes it. She's sniffing it. She don't know about this. Look at her. She, oh. Yep. Come on. Let me know what you think. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. You ate it. You like it? Is it good? It's good? Well, after she like nudged it around a little bit, she was very cautious. You see how she was? She was like, I don't know about this. She's kind of like me. She was like, mm. but then once she took a bite, she devoured it like within seconds. And uh, I still have plenty of duck left over that I'm gonna have maybe duck sandwiches tomorrow. Like, <laughs> that sounds so funny, but it was really, really awesome. It was a great dining experience. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to, you know, recommend Morimoto Asia to anyone that actually comes to Disney Springs or to any of their other locations. Like I said, they have other locations around uh, the country, so there might be one near you. I just don't know that they said the menus are all different in each one of them. But uh, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Also, I want to point out real quick, I bought the new uh, 2022 poster calendar for Walt Disney World because I was having a hard time keeping up on things and I wanted a calendar so I can write things down and I don't miss anything. And uh, I got it, but it doesn't have like a place where you can write the days in. It's just literally those little things in the bottom. It's still really pretty though. I like the retro Walt Disney World and then it's a small world for February. Ooh, the orange bird, Big Al, Big Al for March, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea for May. Oh, this one's nice, the Tiki Bird, the Enchanted Tiki Room, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Let's see what else we got here. This is just Florida. This one's really nice. I like the retroness to it. I want to see what December's like. I didn't get a good look at it. Oh, that's what the Spirit Jersey looks like that I want to get, September. Let's see here. That's October. Where are you, December? Where are you? Whoop! Oh, that's December. I like that. That's really nice. So at least I have some pretty uh, pictures to look at, but I can't really write anything down there.